This instructional video demonstrates the general steps to assemble and install an evaporative cooler system. Before you begin, completely read and understand the instructions. With the drain trough in place, install the drip pan trays. First remove the angle brackets that are in the rough opening of the frame. Save the brackets and tech screws, as they will be reinstalled after the trays are set into the trough. Install the first drip pan tray snug against the end of the trough. Using a flat edge tool. Install drip pan tray into the trough. Make sure the pan sits down into the trough as shown in this video. For multiple tray sections, butt the ends together. Do not overlap ends. When installed correctly, trays will align with the rough opening of the frame. Secure drip pan trays to the rough opening using tech screws. Measure and cut tape to seal tray splices. With the drip pan trays installed, reattach the angle brackets using tech screws. Next, install the two end panels. Attach one end panel to the frame using tech screws. Repeat steps for other end of system. Once both end panels are installed, attach the end panel brackets. Attach end panel brackets to the drip pan tray at each end of the drain trough. Use tech screws to secure end panel brackets to the drip pan tray. Complete the installation by attaching the brackets to end panels using tech screws. Install tech screw heads on the outside of the evaporative wall. Repeat steps to install second bracket. Remove all loose material and debris from the system. Any material left in the drain tube will wash through the system, and ultimately may damage the system. Using silicone sealant, Seal any gaps before installing the evaporative coolant pads. Squeeze the trigger as evenly and steadily as possible. Continue the evaporative cooling system installation by viewing part 4 of this video series. If you have questions, please contact our customer service department at 1-800-245-9881.